Hello everyone, welcome to the video on drug of choice for cardiovascular diseases. See, I have referred NFI, National Formulary of India, a book which is prepared by Indian Pharmacopoeial Commission. This book is widely referred by doctors and hospitals to give the drugs. So all the drugs I am giving standard drugs, prepare notes, these are all important ones. Let us see one by one. The first uh, disease is hypertension. Now to treat hypertension, there are first line drugs are there. You have so many classes are there, out of them, Three are considered as first line drugs, thiazide diuretics, beta blockers, ACE inhibitors. Out of the three, the best choice is thiazide diuretic. The reason is they have very limited adverse effect. So remember thiazide diuretics, choice of drug, first line drug to treat hypertension. Second one, during hypertensive emergencies, the choice of drug is sodium nitroprusside given intravenously. Sodium nitroprusside intravenously given. Third one, see gestational hypertension. During pregnancy, hypertension is a very common phenomenon. But to treat that, you need to give safe drugs because it's a pregnant woman. The safest drug to treat hypertension in pregnant women is methyl dopa, third one. Now, in hypertensive emergencies in pregnant women, the choice of drug is hydralazine. Hypertension in severe form in pregnant women may cause eclampsia and preeclampsia. The severe hypertension may cause convulsions. Now, to prevent convulsions, magnesium sulfate is used. So, only five drugs are there in case of hypertension. The first one is thiazide diuretics first line drug to treat hypertension. Hypertension emergency can be treated by sodium nitroprusside intravenously given. In pregnant women hypertension can be treated by methyl dopa safest drug. Hypertension emergency in pregnant women can be treated by hydralazine. Now to prevent uh, epilepsy in pregnant women magnesium sulfate is used. Hypertension is done. Let's move on to the next one. Angina pectoris or chest pain. Now understand this, chest is very close to stomach. So most of the people when they get chest pain, they get confused that it is because of gastric acidity. We need to bring awareness about this one. Now leaving that one, the choice of drugs, if someone gets acute severe pain, the choice of drug is nitroglycerin given placed under the tongue, sublingual nitroglycerin. Understand this one, most of the time people when they are working, they will get a kind of pain which can radiate to the shoulder, jaw and neck also. Immediately they need to stop doing the work and then put this uh, nitroglycerin under the tongue. So that is the reason it is also called as exercise exertion induced angina, stable angina. All of them are same words, typical angina, right? Now the other one, uh, to prevent angina attack, transdermal or oral organic nitrates are used. So in case of angina bacteria, only one thing is there, glyceride trinitrate, okay? Now let's get on to the next disease. Congestive heart failure. Heart muscle is failing, hence heart could not contract properly and blood is congested in the heart. The condition is congestive heart failure. Two conditions are there. Decompensated heart failure, compensated heart failure. Decompensated heart failure means heart could not pump, <coughs> sorry, heart could not pump properly. Cardiac output is reduced. It is not getting compensated. Blood is not going out. To treat this, the choice of drug is dobutamine. Understand this one. What is the problem? Heart cannot, could not pump properly. So to treat this condition, you have enotropic drugs are there, drugs which will increase the heart rate. Beta agonist, dopamine, dobutamine, uh, cardiac glycoside, digoxin, and PDE3 inhibitor, milrinone, amrinone. All the three classes can be given, but the best choice of drug is dobutamine. The next one, compensated heart failure. That means heart muscle is damaged, but still heart could manage to pump the blood. Compensated, the blood pumping, cardiac output is compensated. but in chronic condition, in long term, the problem is heart undergoes certain mal adaptations. That means bad adaptations. What happens is heart size increases. That is called as cardiac hypertrophy. To treat this, the best choice of drug is ACE inhibitors or ARBs, angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors or angiotensin receptor blockers. So in case of congestive heart failure, you have only these two things are there. For decompensated, you need to use dobutamine. For compensated ACE inhibitors or angiotensin receptor blockers should be used. Now the last one, myocardial infarction. Infarction means tissue death. When there is a 100% block of blood supply to the heart, the muscle tissue dies. That results in infarcted tissue that causes myocardial infarction, which is nothing but heart attack. Now to treat that, see what happens is when people get this myocardial infarction, it gives severe pain. So in acute conditions, the choice of drugs are using glycerol trinitrate. When people put the drug under the tongue, immediately blood supply to that reason increases. The next one, pain. To treat pain, morphine is used. 
So in acute conditions, two drugs are there, glycerol trinitrate or nitroglycerin and morphine. Now, the next one. See, uh, to prevent a myocardial infarction, aspirin is taken because aspirin is antiplatelet agent. See, usually why 100% block occurs when blood supply is blocked by lipid deposition. When lipid deposition causes damage to the blood vessel, platelet may accumulate and causes 100% block. So platelets has to be inhibited. That is possible by using low dose of aspirin. 75 mg to 150 or 350 mg aspirin is also given. Every night they take a tablet. It is called as blood thinner also. Why? Platelets, number, uh, platelet aggregation is reduced. So it is thinning the blood. Hence it is called as blood thinner. So prophylactic care for myocardial infection is aspirin. Last one. There is a special condition known as ST segment elevated myocardial infarction. It is known as STEMI. ST segment elevated myocardial infarction. So when you see ECG, PQ, RST, SNT will get elevated. That indicates 100% heart block. This can be treated by thrombolytic drugs like streptokinase, etiplase, raltiplase. So these are the choice of drugs. So I hope this is useful. All the best.